Chauncey Billups also trying to get on track and posting up against Jason Collins and the turnaround by Rasheed at the shot clock buzzer ties the game. Well, as you see here, Rasheed, he's kind of a mid-post player anyway. This is not too bad. I would like to see Rasheed get to the foul line. Only been to the line six times in the series, but... I beating Ben Wallace. Phillips. And now, single coverage on Ben Wallace going up. And well played. Ben Wallace, who at times has been an offensive factor in the series. Wallace was fronting. Kenyon Martin in the turnover. Way ahead is Phillips. Chauncey Phillips with the layup. And the Pistons. At the end of, end of this fast break that we most recently had with Chauncey Phillips laying it in. Both teams came into the game uh, shooting 39%. Ben Wallace misses inside and the steal by Chauncey Phillips. He's fighting for the loose ball, won by Mehmet Okor, and they've got Tayshawn Prince down court. Right now, the Pistons just want to get a basket, and they finally do with Chauncey Phillips in the layup, ending the long drought with the rebound. Differential of about seven seconds between the shot clock and game clock. Phillips to Williamson. Great feed by Chauncey Phillips. And that's what Larry Brown wants. He wants Chauncey to break the defense down. Shooting situation. Well, and looking at this, Chauncey Phillips' back seems to be a lot better on offense than it is on defense. <laughs> you know, I call them offensive injury. I mean, defensive injury. But he play that much yeah. because he can run the floor. He shoots the ball right well. Very smart play. Hamilton for three. He's got it. Hamilton. Now with eight points. And, now it there. and even if someone else has it, they run because they've gotten in the habit of doing it. But teams don't run sometimes and taking the outside shot as a second option. Still think the Pistons have to go into the post here. Phillips. Big, big one for Phillips who's been relatively quiet tonight. With Ben Wallace, Tayshawn Prince, and Rashid Wallace. And there is Phillips hitting from the corner. And that's a three. Three point basket for Phillips. A little rhythm, made a few shots. Let's see if he can break Jay down. Middles out of the game because Lucas Harris is in and Phillips ah, gets shit. the bounce. And we'll see Phillips. That's a tough shot. Very good. Barely halfway through this pivotal fourth quarter. The three point basket by Phillips. His second of the game. He is 15 points since the first quarter. He played a very solid game. And right now, New Jersey has to score. And you know, Rex, because Jason Kidd, who had the big game, has nine. Richard Jefferson has nine. Uh, Martin has 20, but today this year, but sports annals, the way that ended up with Duncan shot and then Derek Fisher. Duncan. Got to pull the trigger on that one. Phillips with a steal. Two on one. Phillips. Oh. And Tayshawn Prince loses the fight to Aaron Williams. And the lead is 88-85. Got to get a three up. Pistons need a three, and they have just under three seconds to do it. Here's Chauncey Phillips. Here it is. He's got it. He's got it. Chauncey Phillips hits the three. Overtime. Amazing. Greeny guarding Corliss Williamson, and Billups gets it into him with eight on the shot clock. Working in is Williamson. Off the glass, Corliss Williamson makes it a two-point net lead. It's four, under a minute and a half remaining. There's the timeout story. Rashid Wallace with a three. 20 feet out. And Billups, five of seven from the line. And for the Pistons, Ben Wallace and Rip Hamilton have fouled out. Eight from the free throw line.
And there's Brian Scalabrini and uh, had a big game three with six points and a lot of energy. Games taking over for Byron Scott and here he is in a classic game five. And looked at Rex, the shooting coach, and said, He looked over here like, I made one. <laughs> and driving is Phillips with the lay-in, getting two. Tell you, Chauncey Phillips showing a lot of energy here. And you know, got to imagine what's going on inside there. The same for Duke. So Dumar is upstairs. And there is Rasheed Wallace slamming it through. And it's 108-105. The Jersey Ward set to foul out. As you see here, a great penetrating dish by Chauncey Phillips. And Rasheed playing on pure adrenaline. He goes up. He goes up top, but he's struggling right Some beef in there, but no, like Coach said, no interior presence for the Nets whatsoever. And Phillips, nine. Majority of both, both overtime. And Lawrence Frank signals that he wants the Nets to call a timeout after the free throw. Phillips looking to get the Pistons to lead. He does. He gave him the tie, and it falls into the hands of Williamson. Hunter tried to force the pass. Oh. Jefferson got it back. And right now, I think they're just trying to stay on their feet. It is. It's a war of attrition right now. These guys are tired. John Prince into the hands of Phillips. Phillips under the basket. And what a shot by Phillips underneath the basket. He has 31.